Prior to installation, we strongly recommend to read carefully the installation manual. When the tank arrives, the carrier sends you the delivery documents. Check the tank to make sure it's not broken. Count the accessories and make sure you have everything listed on the delivery note. To unload the tank, use chains and attach to tank lifting lugs. Maintain a maximum angle of 60 degrees. When temporarily storing a tank prior to installation, anchor properly using a piece of wood or tire to prevent it from rolling. Please refer to your drawing before excavating. The walls of the excavation must have a safe angle, about 45 degrees, depending on the soil conditions. Please consult the relevant authorities regarding legislation and health and safety at work. If necessary, place a geotextile membrane. Place the required amount of gravel at the bottom of the excavation, a minimum of 12 inches, and level. Please use 1 8 inch to 3 quarter inch gravel or 1 half inch clean stone. Trace the location of the concrete blocks and tank. Place the concrete blocks at the location indicated on your drawing. Make sure everything is straight and square. Remove the tank with the same precautions. The tank must always be attached to the excavator until it is secured with at least one strap at each end. Level the tank. Tighten the straps at each end of the tank. Always use the location shown on your drawing. Remove the chain from the excavator Measure the inside diameter to ensure that the tank is not deformed. Install the other straps. Measure the inside diameter to ensure that the tank is not deformed. Place gravel at different locations under the tank. Be sure to push the material under the tank to avoid any empty areas. Measure the inside diameter of the tank. If your tank requires plumbing connections at the bottom of the tank, proceed with the installation now. Backfill gently the tank by successive layer until you reach the center of the tank. Regularly check the tank level. Continue to backfill gently. Allow a clearance on top of the tank to proceed with the installation of accessories. Measure the inside diameter of the tank.
Now you can install the accessories. For manhole extension with an aluminum lid, please follow these steps. Install the gasket on the manhole flange. Place the manhole extension on it. Adjust the flanges of both parts. Place five bolts crosswise without tightening them. Remove the key located inside the cover. Place the aluminum lid in the direction specified on your drawing. Install and screw the other bolts in a star pattern. Lock your lid with the key. Fiberglass bolted or hinged lids are already installed on the manhole extension. For installation, please use the same bolting pattern. If your installation has a cast iron cover, please install the manway extension and wait to install the cast iron until the tank has been backfilled at the top level. If your installation requires a dry hydrant, please follow these steps. Locate the pipe to receive this accessory on top of the tank. Use the pipe supplied with your tank. Clean surfaces before gluing. Using the primer applicator, apply a generous coating to the surfaces to be glued and let dry. Apply a generous layer of glue to the surfaces to be glued. Align and assemble quickly by turning a quarter turn before reaching the bottom of the coupling. Wait until everything is firmly fixed before moving the parts. Repeat these steps to install the elbow from the dry hydrant to the end of the pipe after the backfill is completed. If your installation requires a PVC vent with gauge, please release the float from the gauge and proceed with the same steps as the dry hydrant. For installation of other types of accessories, please refer to the installation manual. If necessary, place a geotextile membrane. If your installation requires the use of styrofoam to prevent freezing, please refer to the installation manual. Backfill to ground level with materials with no rocks exceeding one and a half inches. Measure the inside diameter of the tank. Your tank is now ready to be used. If you have any questions about installing your tank, please feel free to contact our Customer Service Center at 819-344-2525 or by email at info.gc at granbyindustries.com.